the SD here, and hopefully we got this going. I'm trying to do some checks uh, for those of you that might be catching it. Uh, depending on when you're looking, you might be seeing this, and I'm hoping that everything is going live properly because I'm not able to see it at the moment on my side. But once again, welcome back to the channel. Hey, man, check it out, man. Like I said, I got the Simmons SD1250 right here. I'm going to talk to you about that. We're going to go through some sounds. We're going to check it out, make certain that everybody digs it. You're going to get a chance to see the drum set up close and personal. And you're going to get a chance to hear some of the sounds, man. That's one of the things we've been uh, wanting to do and get into. And so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Now, I'm also switching live. I'm doing everything by myself. So I'm hoping that all of the sound stays good. And uh, just to give it a look quick. See if it's um so hopefully everything is going good so again let's check it out man here's what's going to happen today on the uh, channel i'm going to go through this we got new gear we're testing it out we're doing some stuff but we're also doing reviews at the exact same time we're just letting it happen as it go you feel me so mistakes and all you guys get to see it so when it gets better you guys have seen some of our live broadcasts from the jump so um Again, this is the Simmons SD 1250. I'm going to be doing this again inside the actual music studio with the 1250. I'm sorry, with the Titan 50. And also, we're going to be recording live music and we're going to be doing some other things. Um, in this room here, we're going to be doing some things, but I'll come back to it. But before we get to that, let's get to some sounds. I'm going to go through right now. We're on the Modern Maple, which is the number one, the, the first sound on the drum. And we're going to hear that sound. And then we'll check out some more drums and then I'll give you guys what's going to start happening here. All right, let's see. Hey, wait a second. I think I got to turn off my microphone so that you guys don't hear sticks banging everywhere. So I'm going to turn off this mic. So all of that talking I did, and y'all heard none of it. So let's try that one more again. This, I will tell you my quick setup. We're going from the Simmons uh, drum set right into the Harbinger uh, uh, soundboard. And from the soundboard, we're going straight into this setup that you see with the cameras. So I do apologize just briefly for that going out. So I'm going to have to try to remember to turn the microphone back on because this is live. And I want to make sure you guys can hear me. All right. So. No EQs or anything on it. Everything is set to flat. The drum has not been re retouched. I'm not touching anything. Um, hopefully, if you if you got comments, I'm going to have to comment to you later because I cannot see those at this mo moment because, again, this is all live, and I'm doing everything by myself today. I don't have any help today. So uh, we're going to try it again. I'm going to go through. This is the second drum set. This is the heavy rock drum set. We're going to check that out. I'm going to turn the mic off, and I will remember to turn it on next time.
So that is the Heavy Rock set. And um, yeah, my mic's on. So yeah, uh, hopefully you guys are checking that out and you like that. Uh, again, uh, just want to give you guys an idea of what everything is, how it all sounds with no EQs on it, because I think that's one of the things that people ask the most is what about the sounds, what about this? And so hopefully everything is sounding good because I can only monitor so much and play and switch and you get my point. So uh, yeah, let's check out another drum set. Let's see what we got going on. And just so you know, if you're tuning in and I'm doing this and you see me, I'm, I'm certain off the mics because I don't want you to hear the sticks and things like that when I'm playing. So we're going to go through and do it, and then uh, maybe I'll do a couple more, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. So we'll give you a, 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 a preview. I'll tell you what's really going on in here. So again, this is uh, the 80s pop drum on the Simmons SD600. I'm sorry, SD1250. This is the Simmons pop, the 80s pop drum from Simmons 1250. All right, let's turn this off. Sorry, y'all, I did it again. This is the Simmons 80s pop drum. And um, I'm not coming up, with, I'm coming up with these grooves on the spot. I don't have anything planned to play. So if I make a mistake, just like you saw with my microphone, uh, that is just because I'm live and we're doing it. And I'm just coming up on the, just coming up with whatever I come up with when I play. Nothing's planned uh, at all. So hopefully I don't make too many mistakes and hopefully I don't embarrass myself too, too much. <laughs> so check it out, man. Um, I'm going to go to another drum real quick, which is the Birch Studio drum. But before I play that drum, I want to give a shout out to Simmons uh, for uh, sending me all of these products and doing what, what you guys have done to make this type of thing possible. There's no way I could even dream of affording any of this like this. And um, so, you know, big, big shout out. I would to say your names. But I'm not, I'm going to just share this link and then y'all y'all know who I'm talking about. But eventually, uh, audience, you guys will meet these guys because we are going to start doing some interviews with the guys that design all of this. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. So thanks again, Simmons, for um, getting me all of this gear over the course of the next past couple years. I look forward to new gear and things like that that I know you're working on because we talked about it. So can't wait to hear what's coming up next. And uh, oh, so, yeah, this room and these cameras, what we're getting ready to start doing. Uh, we, I don't, it's not basically the only way to explain this tiny desk, but we're going to do little concerts and things and out of this room, this is, it's going to change again. One more again, it's going to look a little different. Some things are going to leave. We get ready to have some keyboard players over, some guitar players over, some bass players over. We're going to have singers, uh, and we're going to start doing some things, just have a good time. And we're going to live stream here on YouTube. We're going to also do Facebook and probably Instagram as well, maybe even Twitter. So we're going to start live streaming more. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now and get back to playing. That's what's getting ready to happen. Let me turn off my mic. This is the Birch Studio drum. This is the, drum, the fourth drum in there. All right. So let me turn my mic off and we're going to get right to it.
All right. Well, I hope you guys dug that. That is the birch drum. I told you guys I'm just playing whatever comes, whatever I'm feeling. Nothing's planned. And um, hopefully you guys uh, are liking the sounds. If you got comments about them, again, this is all 1250, SD1250 by Simmons. Uh, this is their largest drum set. Um, and I'm not going to do go through a lot of technical things this time. Right now, I'm just checking out the sounds with you live. I want you to be able to hear and experience what's going on with these drums. And um, yeah, so I mean, this is this is really, really nice. I, I think that this expanded. Well, what they've done with the, if you remember the old 1200, they basically said, bump it. We're going to give you the full kit and you go from there. And so I think that was really, really cool when Simmons did that. Um, if I would make any changes, I would make the cage curved a little bit so that I can get symbols a little bit closer to me. But other than that, man, I, I love this drum set. This is my favorite drum out of all of their drums. I do like the Titan 50. Do not get me wrong, but this is my favorite drum. Um, I'm going to check out another drum, then I'm going to go ahead. If I remember, I'll talk about the Titan 50. So this next drum is the, this is drum number five. This is the gated drum on their line on the Simmons uh, ST. 1250. So let me turn off my mic and here we go. All right, so that is the gated drum, gated drum, drum number five that you heard there. Um, hopefully this is coming across good. I really hope that the sound is coming out good and that you guys are actually picking up all of this uh, perfect uh, um, for you. So um, I'm going to go to another drum, uh, which is going to be the Babinga. I think that's what it's called. Uh, a babinga. Yes, it looks like babinga. This is drum number six. Uh, but before I play uh, again, uh, this is live. So please forgive me for all the mistakes and things like that. And hopefully all of the sounds and everything are going out really, really well. Um, as you can see, I do have the t-shirts. We do have hats. Now you can got, get all of that down below. If you're digging this, you can always super chat to support the channel. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and we're going to start doing more live things. It'll get better. This is just the second thing I've done and I'm testing it out by myself. So yeah, mistakes and all, man. So uh, hopefully you guys will dig this uh, because I got some plans for going live. We're gonna make this a little bit more of an interactive type of channel uh, real, real soon as it begins to grow. So with that being said, let me shut up. Let's play. This is the drum uh, number six. This is Babinga um, from the SD1250.
Babinga. 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 That was Babinga. Oh, man. So lots of drums, lots of sounds, lots of enough. I'm going to probably do a couple more uh, before I quit here. Maybe we'll get to 10 of them and see what we get. Um, again, I'm not going through anything in depth. If you want to know, I'm not doing that right now. Right now, I'm just checking out the sounds. Um, so the Titan 50, as you guys know, I do have the Titan 50 and I also have the Titan 20. I also have the SP 600. But with the Titan 50, we made some promises that we're going to be working on some music and a half. We actually ended up working on some other music. Um, I, I, I'm kind of like, what's the best camera in your, in your, in, on you or uh, to get is the one you got on you. And so I was in the studio working on some stuff. I've already moved the SD out here and moved the uh, Titan 50 into the studio. Needed to lay some drums. So I think I, I put up a short of me playing and on, on this track that we're doing. It's a Christmas song. It's actually called Jingle, Jingle Bells. And um, so it's a little, little, little twist on Jingle Bells that we're getting ready to do. And um, so that'll be coming out for Christmas. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Titan 50 on that because I did like the way it triggered. Now, on that actual track um, in there, we may switch it out. But right now, I was, since it was just simply straight plugged in and I need to lay a track right now, uh, that track is using the Easy Drummer 2 uh, drums from that track. I cannot remember which sound we're actually using, but I'm utilizing that drum for that purpose. So, yeah. Uh, there is that so that's coming, but we are going to do some songs I'm doing a song called Titan 50 and then I forgot what the other call um, Titan MIDI or MIDI Titan. I'm gonna do something like that do a, I'm trying to do two songs where we do two different things If you haven't seen the videos on that me discussing that go check those out. All right, let's go to another drum This is the classic rock drum. Okay, we're gonna see what the classic rock drum sounds like I'm gonna turn off my mic and we're gonna start playing All right, so that is the classic rock drum sound, drum set um, from Simmons SD1250, that's drum number seven. Let's go ahead, jump on to drum number eight. That is the blues drum, the blues drum. Let's check it out.
All right. Blues, that's number eight. Blues. The blues drum. I probably was not playing blues. <laughs> so I don't know if that drum, the way I was playing, fit what I was doing. But uh, I told y'all I'm just playing whatever comes to mind and however I feel at that moment. So let's try it another one. Number nine. Birch Latin. Let me turn off this mic so y'all don't hear these sticks. What you think? That is the Birch Nine. Probably could be played better by somebody else. That's number nine, Birch Latin. Uh, I kind of like the way all of them sound so far, man. I, I mean, it's just all about what you think, what the groove is you're trying to lay, what the music is you're trying to play, the sound that you're looking for. I think they do a good job. Um, can we make EQ them and change some things and make them sound a little stronger or a little this way, a little that way? Absolutely. Am I doing that for this video? Absolutely. Positively not. Right now, I'm just simply playing all of the drums and we're going to let it go with what it is. So. We got one more, this is number 10, and this is the Burbinga Africa drum. And um, can't wait to see what this is all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's turn this mic off and see what we got. Ten drums sounds we get did. I'm not going to do any more. Listen, um, again, this is the Simmons SD 1250. We're going to start doing some live uh, music uh, from this studio here. Um, possibly even some also studio work where you got to actually get us get to see me producing some music, um, some original stuff, of course. And um, it's going to be hopefully it's going to ha we'll have a good time. We'll have some fun. You guys will enjoy it. Uh, we'll you know be able to talk more when we get into some different setups and things like that. So hopefully you guys will dig this and keep tuning in. Thank you so much for those of you that have stuck around knowing that we've been having problems. I've been having issues with computers. I still got issues with computers, but hopefully by next week that will be all cleared up. So 
If you want to help me with that, you can always super chat or you can always watch these videos or you can always, uh, you know, super thanks, all of those types of things uh, to help us offset some of the costs because I am coming out of pocket for you guys. I don't get paid to do this and I do not get anything from Simmons except for this awesome, great product. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, so Titan 50 the next time, if I'm not mistaken, I think on Sunday is the next day I'll go live. And we'll do, uh, we'll be working on the Titan 50. So if you got questions about Titan 50, that'll be the day to ask them. We're going to get into it a little bit. I might just go through sounds. We might even do, I might do a couple of things. So I don't want to say it and then I can't do it. But we're going to try a couple of things. We're going to try to uh, make some things happen with the Titan 50. And uh, I, like I say, some announcements are coming shortly or soon, I should say. Some interviews are coming with the people that design this um, and make, make all of these drums possible. We're going to have them on the show. And it's going to be really, really cool. So once again, thank you so much, so much for tuning in again, tuning in for music and reviews. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, man. Thanks. And I'll we'll catch you guys in the next video. And um, I'm going to try out this Nashville uh, drum set and uh, y'all can stick around or whatever. We're going to have some fun. And then I'm, I got to go. I got to I got to get out of here. I got to get back to work.